And the cop pulls up and says, do you have uninsured motorists? I said, no. He said, you'd need to get it. And now I carry it always. I uh, got in a motorcycle accident years ago. Uh, the girl that hit me had no insurance. I ended up with a judgment against her. And now she's moved to Michigan. How do I go about collecting the money? Because somebody said, oh, you got to get a lawyer. You know, right. I mean, finally got a job, finally responsible enough to pay me something. But, I mean, she almost killed me, and I'm in pain to this day because of it. So I need to find a way to collect it. Yeah, and that's one thing, you know, and I'll get to your question, but that's one thing you've probably heard me preach about before is, you know, especially if you're riding a motorcycle, make sure you have uninsured or underinsured uh, motorist coverage, even if you just have a car, because there's so many people out there on the road who don't have sufficient insurance coverage or don't have any coverage at all, because in the state of Florida, you're not required to have bodily injury coverage. All you're required to have is $10,000 in property damage. So, you know, it, it's a good idea to check your policy to make sure you have uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage, because if someone does hit you and hurt you, then even if they don't have insurance, you have a way to, to make some sort of recovery for to cover your medical expenses, lost wages and everything like that. Um, in your case, it sounds like you filed suit. You got a judgment against her, um, but obviously she didn't have the money to pay that judgment. Is that correct? Right, exactly. And I totally agree with you. I finally got uninsured motorists. I want everybody to know out there that there's not much more to put that on your policy, maybe $10 a month, and it is well worth it because, lo and behold, I got hit by somebody a few years ago, and the cop pulls up and says, do you have uninsured motorists? I said, no. He said, you'd need to get it. And now I carry it always because it's, yeah, that's I'm not going to get hit again and not have any insurance. <laughs> Right, right. I mean, that's the thing. It really does not cost a whole lot more. It's probably a few dollars more a month. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's fairly inexpensive for what it is and for how big of a difference it can really make. Um, but in your case, you got the judgment against her. Obviously, she doesn't have the assets to pay the judgment. She's now moved to Michigan. So what you basically have to do in order to domesticate the judgment there is get a certified copy from whatever county that the judgment was in and then file it up in the court in Michigan where she lives now. Um, you know, they're typically going to charge have, you a I filing have that. fee. Okay. That's right. Now, I once have you that. do that, yep, though, I do, I do you have still to. have to you still have to collect on it. Just filing it there doesn't automatically collect on it. So you, you still have to do some sort of garnishment action up there to either garnish her wages or if she has assets, you can go after there, and that may require an attorney up there to handle that for you. Um, but just domesticating it isn't too difficult. It's actually trying to collect it that then becomes more difficult. 